Hey, what's going on guys? I have some very exciting news for you today. Like very exciting news. Today is the first ever day that you guys can own a copy of Feel Good For Serum. Now I hinted at this previously this week, but guys, this is literally the first serum pack that we are releasing that is uh, future base kind of styled future house that's very uplifting and just feel good that's why it's called feel good for serum and we already have some insane artists like team as def kev and different heavens supporting the pack so um basically if you guys get the pack within this week it's really really an insane deal that we're doing here i don't even know why i'm doing it but basically you guys are going to snag one free serum pack along with your download as well as 10 free lfo shapes and 10 free noises now that's over a 75 dollar value and that's all only this week though so we don't record reward procrastinators as i previously said um so anyways this base is actually taken straight from the bonus pack called marshmallow pack um there's a bunch of presets in there and this is actually one of the base presets i'm going to be showing you guys today <laughs> Pretty interesting um i know that a lot of you guys have been asking for more growly stab kind of growls um so that's what we're doing and really this sound is heavily influenced by the wavetable so this wavetable is going to be available in the description to download um not on our website guys in the description um and it's going to take you to a link in the website because i'm changing it up a little bit once in a while so first things first we're going to initialize the patch and then we're going to download this wavetable let's go ahead and oh what's going on here we're gonna go ahead and bring in this wavetable into oscillator A, all right? I actually can't believe I'm giving this wavetable away because this is actually a super heavy wavetable. Just take a listen. You have no idea how many insane growls I've created with this. Um, so anyways, guys, what we're gonna do here is we're just going to stick on our LFO one onto here. Okay, whoa, we're just gonna go ahead and turn it up until we start to hear like a, a nice sound. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. So basically what we're gonna do here now following is we're just going to create a shape like this. We're gonna put it on envelope and then we're also just going to put this on one half. Okay, not too shabby, am I right? Um, so that's it for the oscillator. I know, I know, there's not much going on here for the oscillator section. Um, now all we're going to do is we're going to go into our filter. So for our filter here, we're just going to go into filters. We're going to go uh, multis. So these are the combination of two filters into one. And we're going to go to our high peak 12 filter. And we're just going to drop this cut off all, cut off all the way down here. Um, so essentially what we're doing here is we're going to be modulating this up and we're really starting to form a growly presence on the sound turn up the resonance to give it more vocal or like a very more resonant sound okay that's sounding pretty good uh we're gonna need to move around the frequency as I previously said, this is a high peak. That means we have a high pass filter and a peak filter all in one. So let's move around the uh, frequency here, which is really just the peak filter. If we move it backwards, it's going to even enhance that growly kind of vocal sound even more. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, not too bad. Um, next, we're gonna move into our hyper. Okay, that's really spreading out the sound here. So we're gonna turn that down just a tad bit. 13% uh, is good. And let's move into our size for the dimension, very low size and high mix. That way we're not getting that extra tail. That sounds gross. So we're gonna leave that down there. Um, really channel the size a lot into a smaller space. So um, we don't get that extra click, but we do have um, more dimension on the sound. So anyways, we're gonna turn on our tube distortion and we're just going to leave the driving around here just to tighten up the sound a bit. Of course, we can turn it up. I might turn it up to here as the sound progresses, but for now, we still have a lot more effects that we need to use. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on our phaser. You guys already know what to do here. If you guys watch my tutorials, we're gonna go ahead and drop the phaser rate down to zero hertz. 
the depth down to 0% and the frequency down to 20 hertz. Um, as you can hear, that creates like a guitar amp effect. It sounds like it's really filling in these lower end frequencies and really bringing out the heaviness in the sound. So um, this part's completely optional. Whatever sound that you guys are going for, I'll put it about halfway. So if you guys can't make up your mind, we'll leave it at halfway. Um, so next parts, we're just going to, let's go ahead. Um, we'll turn on our multiband compressor. So we'll turn on the compressor here and we're just going to turn on multiband and that's really just going to bring out all the frequencies and even it out. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Turn up the gain. And one thing you guys are gonna notice is we don't want this to just keep going here. That just sounds gross. So we are going to just open up our second LFO and we're going to create like a nice little shape like this. All right, not too bad. And we're going to leave this rate on, uh, we'll leave it on one, uh, one fourth and we'll put on envelope. That way it won't continue to leap, or what? <laughs> loop through. And let's go ahead and turn up the threshold all the way. So as you can see, the sound is channeled at 120, or negative 120 decibels. And that's very, fairly low. Um, so as you can hear, it's, the sound is not 100% gone, but it's still, uh, it's quieter, you know, let's say that. So we're gonna just turn this up. Now you guys are probably gonna say, Shane, why didn't we go ahead and just put that on the level of oscillator A? Since we put on the multiband compressor, the multiband is constantly trying to even out the amplitude levels of um, both all the frequencies, it's trying to even out the frequencies, and it's trying to even out the master amp. Um, so when we put this on the amp of the level here, or of oscillator A, it's going to sense that any um, any variable above zero, like say we're down here, we're at like one percent on the volume, right? It's going to say, "Oh, I sense volume." So it's going to tr it's going to significantly bring up the volume. So basically, we're going to lose out on this um, this really heavy effect of um, dropping the volume all the way down here. Um, so we're going to later on in the sound, we're going to. <clears throat> Sorry, we are going to go ahead and put that on the master amp, not the level amp, because the master amp controlling everything um, even after all the effects are being processed through. So anyways, we could turn on reverb if we wanted to. Now let's go ahead and go into our phaser, and we're just going to go flangers, and we are find our phaser H48 positive. Uh, let's move the cutoff down. Turn up the resonance a little bit. As you can hear, it does give a similar effect to the phaser, and you're probably going to say, oh, well, that's a phaser filter, and that's a phaser effect. So, um, as you can see, really, really similar kind of sound here. And really, guys, that's all it takes to make this bass. Of course, you can do additional steps, but maybe we want to do oscillator B, and we want to run FM from A. Let's even test this out. Let's turn this down. Nah, we need our sine waveform. It's all right, nothing too special. Let's go ahead and go back into oscillator A. One thing that we can do is, if this wavetable isn't already squarified, let's take a listen. We can also do that. So there's a lot that you can you can do. Um, guys, so once again, this is just one preset taken out of, there are over 100 presets in the original pack. That's just the original pack by itself um, for Feel Good for Serum. And then there's 100 wavetables. And then when you include the bonus pack and everything, that's over, I'd say $200 value. That's over a $200 value if you do um, how competing or competing companies are doing, um, but our product's only 59 bucks, And you get serum presets for life, basically, because I don't know how you're ever going to run out of feature-based stuff when you got Feel Good for Serum. Guys, this is literally all you need to make feel-good music, and that's why we made it. Um, 
So it can really just kind of point you guys in the right direction. Um, I know that those sounds may sound basic, but there's actually a lot more sound design that goes into them. And that's one of the things. That's why um, we have, you know, do you guys know Crystallize? We have Crystal Skies, Paper Skies, a bunch of other people um, that all collaborated, worked together on this pack. So they're really, really um, talented artists that went into this and a lot of work as well. And it's it's been great guys um i really really encourage you guys to check out this pack if you aren't um guys just at least just take a listen to the demo because i promise you guys this is really some next level stuff um anyways guys that should wrap things up i'm shane from mock Pout sound i gotta keep it quiet if you're wondering why i'm a little bit quieter in this tutorial sister sleeping you know my family sleeping you know what am i gonna do i can't just start yelling around like i normally do <laughs> so anyways my name is shane gregoire from rock fired sound and oh yeah make sure you guys follow my instagram if you haven't already no check out the pack first that's not important uh, anyways i'm shane gregoire from rock Pout sound and i will catch you guys in the next video